Pisces, what is happening? Welcome to your energy update, Pisces. Let's see what is happening for you for Leo season. So I am feeling I've been uh, doing a little bit of pre-shuffle and the Queen of Swords kept wanting to pop out. So we're more in a logical, um, again, that fire energy is going to help us be clear, assertive, get things done. Um, you know, opposed to when we think a couple weeks back, right? It was kind of like a little watery for us, but hey, we're here. Um, the challenge of this, I feel, is going to be to use this time wisely, okay? Let's see here. And what's coming through for you for Pisces, for uh, Leo season, Leo season for Pisces. What's going to be happening here? What's going to be happening here? What's going to be happening here for Leo season for Pisces? Leo season for Pisces. It's interesting for for the number of you, for the small number of you that are dealing with a Leo, okay? Um, a Leo is a heart sign, right? Um, you know, the sun. But if a Leo is retracting from you, and, it, and, and if their true desire were you, right? That's kind of another factor, maybe we assume. But, um, you know, they would be open to it, as I'm saying that. But if they're... If they're not balanced in that, in their heart energy, right? If they're not balanced in that energy, this is a time where you could see them retract during Leo season, right? Especially as you're coming off more empowered, um, you know, and something of that not be, being balanced. So they're, they're maybe feeling a little restless. Um, but let's see here. What's coming in for you during, but also side message. I'm not going to lie. I, in the pre-shuffle, I did see the death in the reverse for you guys. Um, in the present, you know, I did a, a past, present, and future here, and I did see the death in the reverse. So even though that you might have a lot of energy and things are going good for you and you feel like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting skinnier, I'm working out, you know, you have more energy during summer, there's still something, be, be careful, right? Because you can be going, but there's still something that you're, um, you should be letting go of or transitioning away from, okay? And you need to give yourself the rest to be able to see this in transition um, fully, okay? So don't be too restless during these summer months, okay? Keep your intention focused so you can um, thank yourself later, right? Release those things that you've been wanting to release while you have the energy to do it. At other times, it can be even more difficult, right? When, when you're, you know, in, in your watery moments, so... Let's see here. What's coming in for Pisces during Leo season? What's coming in for Pisces during Leo season? What's coming in for Pisces during Leo season? So I hope I made the point of what I wanted to say about the, the ones that are dealing with like Leo or fire sign, well, specifically Leo, right? If, if that Leo's heart is closed off or they're not balanced, then you're going to see it as retracting. Ooh! What is it? Okay, Six of Cups. Six of Cups. This is a... Uh, Something from the, the past. Okay, I'm really going to get out and put some cards here, finally. Ah, oh, Jesus, Louise is so bad. All right, Pisces. The during Leo season. Pisces during Leo season. What's happening? Bam, Pisces, two of wands. Okay, during Leo season, I feel like you are, you know, looking forward, looking to make decisions. Um, could be about your fi finances, about your stability here, wanting greater stability. Um, the challenge here and what spirit and what's going to greatly benefit you again, how we, is to slow down during Leo season. Yes, connect to your heart, but that fire can make you be a little restless. Um, a little scattered, so just be careful, but yeah, um, good stuff here for you, because your subconscious, right, from the heart, you want success, you want recognition, um, so you're kind of subconsciously uh, manifesting that, right, that movement, just be careful that that movement is aligned with your higher purpose, with your true intentions, and you're just not, 
you know, getting yourself in, in, in too heavy. I will say one thing, and, and that Pisces can sometimes do, um, we can do anything, but we can't do everything. So um, we're a little bit scattered, right? That's our nature. We know a little bit about everything. I mean, we're general, big thinkers, um, but we need to focus our intention because when we want to do this, this, and this, and that, we don't do anything great or at a high level um, because our energy is too scattered. So the more that you focus that intention, the greater results you're going to have with something. And I think that that's something that we've been learning is being more practical and staying with something, okay, and not being too flighty um, because we're the fish, right? We go where the current goes, that there's an intelligence to that, but also in this 3D reality can sometimes be difficult. But anyhow, you got this Pisces, okay? We're going to do some clarifying. Um, in the past here, I feel like you've learned some lessons here. There's like a new chapter that's taking place. Your next move, Page of Cups. I feel here like you want to follow things that are aligned with your heart, with your creativity. Um, you know, your childhood desire may, uh, may be right. That just childhood or childlike devotion into something. Let's see here. Yeah, so let, let's clarify here. Because I feel a couple things too. I feel that some of you are torn between what your logical mind and maybe that corporate world or career, that recognition in regards to that, or following your spiritual, your creative um, talents, right? And I feel like your spiritual and creative talents for a lot of you are A, going to be very fruitful for you and it's going to be easier a more enjoyable process okay I'm not saying that the other one isn't going to be okay but I feel like it's you know Einstein said it um, once this quote right if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree you know that's not what a fish does you're not gonna be thriving and I mean you are you can you push yourself but we have one life right like it's an empty canvas I there's a we're always molding right so you're constantly molding to find the most efficient way um, you know, the, the most aligned way to you that's enjoyable, right? You know, that balance. That's what we're here for. So I feel like a lot of you are torn between that essentially here, you know, that material, you know, recognition and obtaining something, which is great. We need that in 3D reality and also kind of your intuitive side. Moving forward, before we move forward, okay, let's clarify. What is this King of Pentacles in the reverse for you, Pisces? What is this King of Pentacles in the reverse for Pisces? King of Pentacles in the reverse for Pisces. Five of Pentacles. So maybe right now you are just having, I mean, not financial worries, but this is a time where you are, maybe you've seen that you've spent a little bit too much or you're just trying to acquire more. In some sense, you could be feeling here, um, a little drained or overworked, right? Just, and just be careful, right? Because when we're overworking and, and we're chasing, so this is why we need to recenter, right? Because you can attract, raise your vibration and, and like then you realize, wait, clients are calling me, right? So it's not quite how it works. You also have to put action, but sometimes yes, okay? See, let's clarify. What is this? High Priestess for what's helping or hindering Pisces. High Priestess. High Priestess. I think a lot of you, again, during this Leo season are, are being highlighted a choice, a decision. You're seeing how, you know, maybe you're having some difficulties in, in, in this world or, um, you know, in these regards. And you're being and you're in your intuition, your heart is drawing you to more creative endeavors, right? To something that's more aligned with you. Let's see here. What is this high priestess? What is this high priestess? High priestess for Pisces. Seven of Wands and the Emperor. Yeah, I feel Pisces, you know, there is absolutely a need for you to slow down, okay? Because I feel here that in this masculine energy, you could be in this get it done, da, 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 but it's like this mode that you try to control and you get this, you know, and over control things and get into action and, and do, but are you, you know, is it efficient? Is it effective? Is it even aligned with what you want to do? Like long term, you really got, you know, this is why your conscious mind, it's a little scattered or in the Leo season. So let's see, let's, let's clarify. What is this Knight of Swords in the reverse? Knight of Swords in the reverse. Knight of Swords in the reverse. 
The Hierophant and the Magician. Yeah, you are very focused on, on committing to something. Um, you are focused here um, on manifesting. But maybe it's not fully coming across yet. Like, you know, as fully balanced as energy, right? Maybe it's, it's a little uh, rash or rushed. Okay? You're like, I'm ready. I'm ready to get it going. Or there could be some sort of... Uh, you could be dealing with a Taurus in your life and a Gemini. And there's a lot going on in your life. You know, maybe you're going on vacation with a, a Gemini. Or, you know, you, you got business going with a, a Taurus. And there's just a lot going on in your life. So that could be that. But anyhow, let's clarify. What is your next move, Pisces? Page of, of Cups. Page of Cups. What is this Page of Cups? What is this Page of Cups? What is this Page of Cups? Ten of Swords. I feel like you're experiencing some sort of like obstacle or some sort of period, right? And I feel like this period of like this dead end or this defeat that you feel from it or this like, uh, you know, like feel like this chapter's closing, it's drawing you to something new, right? It's it's almost like the universe is, is guiding you. And if you quiet the mind somehow you'll, you'll be able to pick up on this intel if you don't then you're going to continue on on the same thing and maybe pursue or follow things you know that you are not fully aligned okay maybe you want to pursue a career like for instance you know i i um want to you know i do real estate but i also am in school to to do law right i'm political science and you know go into law because i i want to maybe i see in the future the need for um certain policies and things to be changed obviously that's the whole thing of politics but in order to like our our environment right you know kind of things that are deeper that people are not really talking about nowadays renewable resources um all that good stuff but anyhow you know would would that make me happy long term right i mean it's it's gonna be i'm pisces i'm a creative you know I could do certain things and travel and maybe make videos and do other things that would be more aligned with me and make me happier. So that, that's that sort of decision that a lot of you could be coming towards. But let's clarify, right? Finally, let's clarify. What is this Page of Cups? Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Nine of Cups. Page of Cups and Nine of Cups. I feel like maybe in this Leo season, okay, it will... Leo season will nudge you to go towards... Um, you know, what truly makes you happy, something that truly inspires you. So be be aware of that. Be um, conscious of that. We have the Knight of Cups in the Reverse, some sort of moodiness or disappointment. Um, Nine of Wands, maybe feeling a little fatigued. And Eight of Pentacles, not really wanting to put, you know, work into something. So, yeah. So for some of you, we're all going to assimilate this differently, right? For some of you, you're going to feel during Leo season, if you're not truly listening to your intuition and not aligning, you're going to feel disappointed. You're going to feel exhausted, fatigued. You're going to feel like you're not going to want to put into work into certain things because, again, your heart isn't into it. Again, but that will push you that will transition you into doing something you know page it's something new but it's something that's going to make you happy so it's going to depend on you how fast you assimilate these changes that the universe is trying to guide you through right leo season is trying to highlight something how you see yourself strength in the reverse so maybe during leo season you know the lion you you don't feel as brave to make these changes yet or, or something here right in your environment, Seven of Cups, there could be confusion, a lot of options, a lot of decisions, your hopes and fears, you hope to, you know, maybe things to balance out. And the outcome, Queen of Wands, I love this, perfect for Leo season, a fire sign queen here, coming out, you know, very charismatic, keeping your energy high, you know, going through these trials and tribulations, but it allowing you 
to align you with a higher version of yourself, right? Something that is more aligned with you. So that is the whole thing of Leo season. And I see here you allowing the, the Leo process to, to transform you. Each season transforms us, right? Each each of lunar phase, like everything, right? Whatever transits, they all subtly align us. And I feel like during this Leo season, right, you are aligning with your inner power, Okay, and, inner, and, and Leo is a sign that listens to their intuition. They're actually very in tune, right? Their heart. Let's see here. Let's clarify this Queen of Wands and then we'll get some Oracle and wrap this puppy up for Leo season. But I like this. I like this. I would just say Leo season, great things coming. You further aligning. Some creative endeavors might get put into play um, and all that good stuff. Just, the, the, just cautious to being rash, right? Making... Rash decisions, not listening to your intuition and staying in something that you just don't love or dread or whatever, right? What is this Queen of Wands as the outcome for Pisces and Leo season? Queen of Wands for Pisces and Leo season. Queen of Wands for Pisces and Leo season. Queen of Wands, Pisces and Leo season. Tower in the reverse. And then what does we get? Oh, death. Four of Wands and Ace of Cups. So I'm seeing here, Pisces, that you should not be afraid, Pisces, to shake things up in your environment, in your world, okay? That you're not truly getting the celebration or success that you want. Don't be afraid to shake it up. Get in your queen mode, Pisces, and change, transform that. Like, perform alchemy here. And your heart, when your heart is full and you make this transformation, trust me, like, you're going to be happy. Things are going to move forward for you. You just have to have that inner push so take the time you need you know what let's get some advice let's get some some advice for pisces during leo season here advice for pisces during leo season what is the advice for pisces during leo season advice for pisces during leo season what is the advice for pisces during leo season what is the advice for pisces during leo season advice for pisces during leo season let your personality shine and that's such a leo card 33 i've been seeing synchronicities like of the woo-ha like seriously um you have something no one else has that makes you who you are stop comparing yourself to others and allow your uniqueness to shine pisces your true talents let them shine okay that's gonna make you happy okay and when we try to pursue things that are not really aligned with our true talents right maybe as a pisces right i'm just giving you an example and I, and I and i give examples of me because that's how we learn through examples we're able to relate right me maybe following a career that's so logical right maybe i like to prove my intelligence because you know a i've been around very masculine people right that that's how they think intellectually right but i'm a pisces i'm, I'm a creative so my true talents actually and true success would be with this but maybe, you know, that's some sort of, con uh, you know, subconscious conditioning, right? That I so just make note of those things deep inside of us, right? Why are we pursuing something we're pursuing? Lift those weights, okay? Let your personality shine, Pisces. One last card here to move forward for advice for Pisces. What is advice? And I'm so certain that this is going to say something about the sacral chakra, orange, Determination, power, inspiration. Oh, okay, we have one. Rebirth, which is this death, which is this death. Rebirth through the heart. All right, what else? One more. This video is so much longer than I thought it would be. All right, last card. Meditation. Meditation, Pisces. Rebirth and meditation. And this is the the high priestess because you are going through a transformation here of the heart allow yourself to the universe is trying to guide you into a new direction you might not be ready for it or want but it's gonna happen okay so pisces let me know if you feel that transformation i hope this was somewhat helpful i will see you guys soon Bye bye